authority is what you were created for. Mm. And you were to do it in a godlike fashion. It's not going to be, though, like you expect. It's not going to be like, to borrow from someone, the Gentiles who lord it over others. Rather, it's the Son of Man coming to serve and not be served. Well, the classic example of that is the young guy who sees the pastor crushing it in the pulpit. Oh, he's such a powerful speaker. People sit and hang on his every word, and they go, oh, I want to get into the ministry. I want to be a pastor. And then they get their first church, or maybe they get their first taste of ministry, and they're like, oh, I'm spending so much of my time in prayer and private counseling and meetings with people mad at me. This isn't you know, as glamorous as I thought I was going to be. Late night elders meetings. If you're aspiring to a position of authority for the glamour sake, you're you're yeah. not understanding it rightly. I think there are some guys who hear this and they go, all right, well, I don't, I don't want that. I just want to step back. I just want to kind of passively make my way through life without having to take the reins, without having to lead. And it's like, no, brother, that's the wrong instinct too. Yes, it should scare you. But there's something in you that should go, this is scary, but because it's good, I'm going to rise up and I'm going to do it. I'm going to put my hand to the plow. I know it's not going to be perfect. I know I'm going to screw yeah. up. I know God's going to have to slap my hand and it's going to hurt and I'm going to be embarrassed, but it's worth it because I'm going to author life in people. Yeah, that's right. That's you right. Know? If we're talking about a husband, I'm going to say, brother, you are the head, whether you like yeah, it or not. <laughs> right. You, you're, you're gonna, you're, you are leading, whether you're, with your presence or your absence, with, right. with your life encouraging words or your non-words or your correct, you are leading. Yeah. So I am, I'm going to exhort you right now. You, you must get on it. Yeah, you right? have a job, so you do it. You have a job, so do it. Now, if a guy's like, I'm not sure I want to be a pastor, I'm not sure I want to be <clears> an elder. Well, I don't think every man needs to be a pastor sure. or an elder. But I would like for every man in our church to look at the elders and go, now that's something worth giving your life to. I want to at least consider Absolutely. That. Yeah. And I want every man in the church to stop being selfish mm-hmm. and to love their neighbor as themselves. Mm-hmm. Now, does not being selfish and loving your neighbor as yourself mean you have to be a workplace mm-hmm. manager? Does it mean you no. have to be a pastor? Well, no, there, there, there's freedom there. But if, if, if a man's impulse to avoid leadership is one of selfishness, self-protection, yeah. lovelessness, well, that, that's what needs to be indicted. <laughs>